self-portrait is a picture that you have drawn about yourself. It is not a selfie. Some of the artists we have already studied actually did their own self-portraits. This is Pablo Picasso, Vincent Van Gogh, and Leonardo da Vinci. In the future, we're going to be talking about the artist Horace Pippin, and this is his self-portrait, and Frida Kahlo. You're gonna need some drawing paper today and a pencil, and then you're gonna need something to color in with. We're gonna be drawing many projects at home over the next few weeks. I want you to always remember to draw big and fill the whole space of your paper. Start by drawing the shape of your head. You can draw an oval or a circle. Don't make the circle or oval too small. We won't be able to fit anything inside of it. And if you make a mistake drawing your oval, Go ahead and draw it the way you would want it and then erase out the line that was a mistake. When you get ready to put in your eyes, don't put your eyes at the very top of your head. That leaves way too much space for everything else. And also, don't put them down at the very bottom of your circle. Then there's no space. Your eyes need to go in the middle. Draw two football shapes in the middle. The hardest part is getting them the same size. Then you're gonna draw a line across there to be your eyelids and a little curve to be your eye inside of there. It, your nose goes below your eyes. Start by putting a little curve and then two little curves on the side. Don't worry about the top part. Let's add a mouth. Start by drawing a line for a smile. Then above that line, put your top lip, and below that line, put your bottom lip. Think about your ears the same way you thought about your eyes. We don't want to put the ears at the top of your head or at the bottom of your cheeks, so you want your ears to be in a curved line about the same place where your eyes are. Add two lines to come down for your neck and then draw diagonal lines from them to the corners of your paper. Don't get your lines too close together. Now let's add hair. Hair does not just grow starting at the top of that line and it doesn't just stay inside of it. I'm going to draw my own hair first and so I'm going to draw some curves and some little curls that come a little bit below my ears. Now this hairstyle would be a short hair for a boy or a girl. I'm gonna draw a first outline part where I'm gonna fill in and then I draw small circles close together and I fill in the whole spot with those small circles. Remember, you don't need to go this fast. This would be longer hair that might be pulled up and then come down to the shoulders. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the collar on right now. I'm gonna put the edge of where the hair comes across the forehead and it's pulled up to the top. That's gonna to be like a little ponytail holder. Then I'm gonna draw slightly wavy lines that come down and then I add the lines the way the hair is growing. This hairstyle would be for someone that has a braid. I'm going to put a line in that shows where my braids are going to start. I'm going to put a little curved edge line out to there. Then I draw two diagonal lines that overlap each other from each side. and then when I put a little gap in between them and keep going. This will take a while to fill in the whole head. We 
forgot eyebrows. They're going to be a curved line that goes above your eye and then add a few hairs on them. Don't make them too big or too bushy. You definitely want to go back in and color in. When you're coloring in, if you press lighter, you can get a lighter shade of the color, but if you press harder, you can make the color darker. I made a darker color of brown inside the eye and a lighter color of brown for the skin. You can also add one color over the top of the other. This is a good time to go back in and put in your eyelashes too. Show your finished self-portraits to the camera. Ozzy definitely wants to see what you've been drawing and he wants to know what you look like.